Hi friends, let's continue to our web scraping tutorials and in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to scrape this example web scraping website. Just have a quick look uh, to this website. So basically on this page you can see here the default index is 1 and this is the first page. It has 10 countries and every country name has a link and it has previous and next buttons. So when we click on any of the countries, you will see a lot of information related to that. Okay, so if we click on next, we'll see another set of 10 countries. So what we need to do is we need to go to each country and we need to extract the information which is inside that, right? And this we need to do for all the pages. So for second page index, you would see change to two and so on and so forth. It will keep on increasing. Alright, so I have written some piece of code, but to explain to you, I will be creating a new module and I will explain to you line by line. Right, so let us create a new sub procedure. Let's say scrape example website. Okay, so first of all, you have seen our previous video tutorials where we have launched Internet Explorer. We have done some sort of scraping. So I follow the same things and I just copy and paste this piece of code where I am just declaring Internet Explorer HTML document and I'm initializing it to Internet Explorer and I'm just setting the visible property to true. Okay, so just revisit the code. I have declared it. I have initialized it and I have set visible property to true. Now I need to navigate to a URL. Okay, so for the first page, I will navigate to index one and then I will keep on incrementing. The URL part is dynamic. This part is static. The index changes. So I will keep this in a string and then I will append index to it as in as and when I would be moving to next page. Okay, so for that, what I would do is I use another variable dem let's say i as integer okay and url let's say i use the name of that variable as surl you can use any url or variable name equals that's my url i copy and paste here right and followed by index i okay so initialize i to one right so you can declare SURL as string. All right. So now we need to navigate. So IE dot navigate SURL and I. Okay. So you have reached to this page. Now you need to wait for this page to load. You have navigated to it, but you cannot perform any action on it until this page is loaded. So again, I refer to the previous videos where we have used these statements to apply wait until the browser ready state changes to complete or IEBG state is not false. So I copy again this piece of code and put it here after just navigation step. All right, what next I have done here is now I have a flag here I'll tell you the purpose of this flag. Basically, I do not know how many countries are there, how many pages I need to iterate through. So I just set a flag to true and I will change that flag to false as and when the scraping ends. And I will keep on moving into that loop till that flag is false, true. Okay, so I set the flag as true and I put a condition here while flag is true, I want to stay inside. Okay, so let us create this structure here. Flag is true initially and put a while loop while flag equals true. Stay inside the loop, right? And when, when it is false, just move outside. And that is our finish for scrapping. Okay, 
now basically uh, I need to deal with this document so you can initialize the document so initializing the document is very simple you can use set set ht which is html document equals this browser dot document all right so now you have access to this document and you can access any of the elements of this okay so let's go to html section of this website now we need all the links so i go to this first country and i can see here this is anchor which is having a url and if i expand it i will see the name of country as well okay and if i scroll a bit above i can see here this is under div id results okay so if i check whether that results div is unique or not i can see it is unique if you are not aware what i am doing here basically this is a selector technique which i am using and i am currently finding all the elements which is matching id equals results and it gives me one match if you want to know more about selector i have a separate video tutorial on learning selectors i will put the link in the description section of this video okay so under this i need to search for any anchor tags okay so there are n such elements present on the page first one is this second one is this and so on and so forth and we need all the urls one by one once we are done with these 10 we'll move to second page and then we'll repeat the process so that is what our scraping is in this case all right so i set lms equal this ht.get elements what i will do here is i'll write the statement for you so set lms lms is not nothing but an object which is holding all the elements matching the criteria so ht is html document dot get element by id which is results right we reach here and then under that we were searching for all the elements matching tag name as anchor okay so we have all the elements here now we also need to take care that this do not get stuck into an infinite loop so it is important to put a exit condition here so we can put an exit condition that if lms dot length equals zero in that case simply change the flag to false so that's our exit condition and we can mark it here like exit condition okay so that makes the code readable so what we have done is we have all the elements now and we have exit condition now we need to iterate through all the elements one by one let's say for lm in all the lms we have not declared all these things that we are using here we can declare it later okay so let's first iterate through all the elements so for each lm in lms let's first print on console ebug dot print lm dot href okay and you can also print lm dot inner text okay so this will print the inner text which is country name and this will print the url now we need not print this thing on console for testing purpose we can write this we can run this and see whether it is printing the country name and url correctly or not but since i have tested this piece of code so it would be working fine but the problem which we need to cater here is we need country names here in this column and population here we have not yet reached to this page but what we are doing is we are fetching all the countries and their urls here in the first one and then we'll iterate through all these urls one by one and we'll fetch the information whichever we need it may be population or currency or whatever we need okay so now we need to have all these country names and urls here in the cells of this excel file right so basically i need to iterate through uh, these 
not iterate basically i need to write to these cells one by one okay so it is important to find the last available row which is having data so last available row we can use lr equals cells rows dot count comma one and excel up dot row okay plus one so what we are doing is cells rows dot count i reach here to this cell comma one first column rows dot count this cell i'm referring to okay then dot end excel up i want to move to end in upper direction which is this cell dot row i want to fetch the row number which is two to two and then i want to add one to it which is two to three so that's how i will always be having next available row where we can write information if we do not have anything here i can simply use the same logic that cells rows dot count comma one end dot excel up which will take it to second row and then it will add one to it and then we'll speak about row three and here it is going to write okay so we have reached to the last row where we can write and then cells lr comma one dot value equals lm dot inner text which is country name and cells lr comma let's say 10th column or any other column which you don't need i have done one mistake it's value so value equals lm dot href so this is how we are going to get all the country names and their urls so that would be the first one the last thing which we need to do is now once we have all the information from one page all the urls and the country names we need to move to the next page okay so we set this elements to nothing because we are done with the first page and then we add a delay of five seconds let's say this delay is basically for a purpose that website do not block us because if we hit multiple requests server may block us so what we do is we put a delay of five seconds in between our requests okay so we put a sleep of 5000 and to use sleep statement you need to put this statement as it is i'll keep this statement in the comment section uh, because without this you will not be able to use this native function sleep okay uh, you have another way to, of you implementing sleep but i would prefer using this one all right and there is no need of going deep inside this thing as of now because um, we are currently focusing on the scraping part i'll explain this thing to you later in a separate video okay so ie.navigate s url which was our default url this one without any index number and then i will put the index i right so i set i equals to here initially with a, before my while loop and i'll keep on incrementing as and when i will be moving to the next url okay so that's how I will be iterating through all the URLs and I will be having information of all the pages. Let's run this piece of code and see what happens. We have it blank. We run it. It opens first page. It has all the countries. It has the URLs here. It moves to second page after five seconds. It moves to third page after five seconds and we have the information all right so that's how we can do scraping now once we have the country names and URLs next thing would be we would be writing another piece of code which would be iterating through all the URLs one by one and then fetching information related to whatever column we need so for that again we can write another piece of code let's say sub extract country names uh, extract parameters okay and then i i can write that for i can define the range where i have these values for let's say 1 to 100 whatever cells i have so for i equals let's say starts from 3 to let's say i have 100 values here 
so i can use the same things here to navigate through each url one by one and then extract information so i keep that thing for you as assignment and if you face any challenge in that do not forget to write to me in the comment section i welcome your questions and if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye and happy scrapping